Okay, welcome back to Around the House with Cheryl. Um, I told you I wanted to show you how I displayed some of my vintage toys that I found up in the attic. Um, we'll start at the top. This curio, I had Christmas stuff in it for three years. I decided to clean it out and change up. And I don't know if you guys remember him. This is Rancor from Star Wars. I'm not sure which uh, Star Wars, if he was on the first or second and this is a lithograph of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith and these are some figures I can tell you where I got them from um, I've had them for years and I thought let me pull them out and display them and you see behind there I have a little Masters of the Universe book I have some Masters of the Universe they're still in the attic I didn't bring them down I may still bring them down I have room in the front but I wanted to put them some of the Star Wars stuff there first. And then on the second, I used to collect uh, plates. So I put out three of my storage, uh, Toy Story plates. They were from Bradford Exchange, I believe. And then this is just a mod podge of toys. I don't rem know if y'all remember those two little rubber guys in the back. I think it was with some sort of wrestling game. And then the Powerpuff Girls. And that little old blue car. I'm not sure where that came from. And then the three in the front. I think this was from when Batman first came out. Because you got the Penguin. And the Catwoman. And Batman. They were probably McDonald's toys. You can see. And then with the Toy Story. I had two toys. Uh, looks like... Um, Woody and I'm sorry I can't remember the girl's name but I had her too oh and I forgot over here I found some Milan toys and I think that's Mulan from that movie I didn't see that movie my kids must have had those toys from McDonald's let me see if you can see there's an, another guy in the back with the Mulan you see him Sitting down right there. Oops, it's a little blurry. Okay, and then over here I found this cookie monster. I don't know where he comes from. But I had these old um, peanut cars. I think I got them from a yard sale. But they're pretty old and I thought I'd put them out. And two more McDonald's toys you got. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. When you move him, he smacks Daffy in the head with those um, musical instruments. And then the, I, if you're old like me, you remember Hamburglar in the little car right there. And then down here I had an old uh, Terminator. Now, I wasn't able to locate his gun, but Believe me, I still have them somewhere. And then um, I put this Terminator in there, and then that's uh, John Connor there. And then if you remember that show, Dinosaurs, I love that show. You see Dinosaur, the father. And then um, remember Cat Dog, the old Nickelodeon show? Uh, there's the Cat Dog there, and there's another toy behind the dinosaur with the cat dog in a trash truck. And then, of course, Rugrats. There's uh, the pickles back there. See, a Tommy Pickles. And then I found this little guy. I think he's from the Thornberries. And then I had some Jurassic Park um, things. And I had this old time magazine about when Jurassic Park first came out. And I had some figures. Um, there's an old Batman figure back there. If you could see him, that, that's Michael Keaton. And then I had one, four of the Jurassic Park figures. I didn't have, I probably did have her, but I couldn't find her in the toy box. But I probably had Ellie. And then um, a couple of dinosaurs in that little bo black box. It's the T-Rex sound. It still works. It probably just is, it, it's real vague, but it works. 
so it probably just needs a new battery. And down here, uh, my son had um, a predator and an alien, and then he had some bobbleheads. You see the alien bobblehead in the back here. If you can see, I got a little glare going on as I move down further. But I have the three different uh, bobbleheads of the Terminator. And then in the back over here, I got the bobble head of the Predator. So, I thought that looked nice down there. And then at the very bottom, my all-time favorite, it's not vintage, but I love them, is Shrek. So I put out my Shrek stuff. I know I have some more Shrek stuff. Um, I didn't attach his gun, but that's, uh, I don't know him, but my, um, Sons and even my grandson told me that was Chris from Resident Evil. And then I have Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a um, pop-up book. I put it out sometimes in Halloween, at Halloween time. And then that creature back there, I don't know his name, but that's the villain from the movie Legend. I think that had Tom Cruise in it. And then I have... Um, Beetlejuice's grave. It says, here lies Beetlejuice. It's probably hard to read. But I have Beetlejuice, but he's in with my Halloween stuff. And that's the guy from The Last Action Hero. So, this is one way to uh, display your vintage toy collection. If you have a curio. Oh, I forgot to mention behind the Terminator, there's an old TV week, TV guide from the Washington Post, uh, 1999, and it just has something there about the Power Puff Girls, and I don't know if y'all remember the PJs, let's see, remember the PJs with Eddie Murphy? So, I collect a lot of stuff, I don't know why. But anyway, um, that one character, he keeps falling down, so I'm going to have to put some more museum wax on him. That's how I keep my uh, pieces still and standing. I use museum wax. Um, so if you like this video and like how I displayed my toys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you. Uh, on the next video. Bye-bye.